Oh, and now I can't hear myself. Hey, everybody. Hello. Are we on? Are we live? Oh, you didn't hear me because I was muted. Sorry. <laughs> Are we live? We're live. <laughs> uh, My mute button's been really weird. Production value in this episode is great. Uh, <laughs> I was, like, I doing trust... my prep. I'm like... Apparently, yeah. I can hear myself when I'm muted, but you guys can't. So I don't understand that. Hmm. I, I don't know if that's a feature or a bug. It's both. just depends on the circumstance. I guess so. So, yeah, we're on. If you hadn't figured it out yet. Um... And yeah. So did we all make secondary characters? I think only one of us did. Okay. Or did you go through with it, Will? I mean, I made it, but I actually don't want to play another character right now. So let's go with no. <laughs> well, let's let's say no. Yeah, right. Like, you have her on the back burner if yeah. the need arises. Yeah. If I ever need another character, it won't be a problem. Oh, I gotta take off your names too. That's new. Well, why are you removing our names? Uh, from the uh, Google Hangouts overlay. No, because I already have right. your names up here or down here, and then Google put it right here, which was kind of annoying. Yeah. See, so, anybody been up to anything? Or are we just going to jump right in? Um, I bought Doom. It okay. was on sale for like 23 bucks, So that was a steal. So I've been nice. playing through that. I accidentally kicked my computer uh, power bar, turned off the computer mid-save, corrupted the save, and I had to replay everything. Oh. I was only three levels in, but still. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. Um, so I think I'm, I just finished the second level now, so I still have the third level to go through, and then I'm caught up. So is it fun so to it's replay? Really good. Yeah, honestly, it, it is. Um, okay. I, it, it's more fun the second time around, because I'm like learning my way of how to do things, and it's like, okay, yeah. Yeah, let's kill some demons. Oh, that part that I died like seven times on, because of course I'm playing on the hardest difficulty available on your first playthrough, which is the third one of the five. Um, that part I died on four or five times. Hmm. Now I recognize what a power-up is, so I ran to it and then killed everything. Nice. <laughs> it was just this floating orb, and I was like, it was just like this big compared to you, so I was, I was like, is that an item? I don't know, I'm going to avoid it for now while I kill these things. Kept dying. And I was like, okay, let's pick this thing up. What is it? Oh, it's a kill everything power-up. It's a run fast, it's a berserk power-up, which right. means you run really fast and punch everything to death in one shot. Mm -hmm. the, the win orb, the orb that makes you win. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, oh, well, that made it easy. That helps. You aren't invincible while doing it, though, so you still have to be careful. Mm -hmm. Getting a rocket in the face. Yeah, I uh, was playing Overwatch, trying to get that last loot box in, you know, and my screen goes mm, black. Yeah. And I thought, oh, did my graphics card die right before stream? But uh, mm -hmm. I just had my fan set to low and it overheated. But it seems fine. And I got this yesterday. It's another monitor. So the thrift store around me, they just get monitors, and you just pay 10 bucks or 5 bucks for a monitor. It's great. Nice. So everyone seems really chill today, so uh, let's just get right to it. Yeah, let's yeah. do some violence. Excellent. Glorious violence. Mm. Is violence a stat now? I wish. 
Though it might as well be. Hard is basically violence, a stat. Yeah. I mean, it's the threat of violence. And, and actual violence. Yeah. And actual violence. Um, yeah. So, yeah, let's jump right into it with uh, highlights, I guess. Sure. Oh, boy. Sounds good. My other is the same. So I will pick Esther. All right. Um, I'll say weird. Yeah, highlight your weird. Okay. And for Kim, Kim, Kim. In a moment, is grand grandiose as this. I th oh, I was gonna go weird. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I think let's let's oh yeah, even that yeah, let's try hot. Okay. Hmm. Uh Kim. Um What do you roll you roll hot. Yeah, roll hot you do hot. Okay. Because you do hot to kill both people with a knife, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, when I go aggro, so I could mug people with a knife with hot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm charming. Give me your money. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, you're, you're, you're conning them, basically. Listen, I need five bucks because I... Listen, I need a subway ticket. Can you listen? Yeah. Give me the ring, or I'll take it off you myself. Funk. <laughs> I once had somebody <laughs> that come works to me too, and asked me for a subway ticket. And I just handed them my subway ticket, and they were and so they confused. Say? They were just like, "Oh, uh, thanks," and they were just looked really confused. Because they didn't actually want a subway ticket. They just wanted money. If they actually anything like that. Like, yeah, no, I gave a guy a, a ticket. I, I gave I, it. I bought it you're... for four stops. And I used one of them. I don't need it anymore. Here. Yeah. In uh, Calgary, the transit system is time based, so you buy them in hour and a half increments, and you can use it freely for an hour and a half. Um, so, I, But you can also buy uh, books of multiple bus tickets at once, um, at like gas stations and stuff like that. So I had a book of 10 bus tickets, and a guy asked me for a ticket. I was like, okay, I have 10. Here you go. First thing he did was ask for another one. I was like, okay, he's clearly just going to resell them. So, yeah, screw this. Um, and uh, You can yeah. resell tickets with a time limit? You know, well, when you... Yeah, because you just buy a bunch in bulk. They don't ever expire. And then when you actually use them, oh. you just put them into like a thing that stamps the actual time that it starts. Oh, um, I didn't realize that. I was like, damn, this guy is real dedicated. Yeah, so he just started reselling. He, yeah. So even if you ask for a bus ticket here and get one, oftentimes it's still just uh, money. Nice. I wonder if people use tickets as a currency. Because it's like three, it's three, 325 for a ticket here. Um, so you just like, here's a bus ticket that is unused. Here's three dollars and twenty five cents. Buy drugs and in like bunches of tickets. It's yeah. a, a pseudo currency. How much heroin will this book of tickets get me, please? <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Nice. Primark. Highlight. Mm -hmm. I need you to highlight, highlight something. Highlight a stat. Right. I was gonna do that. Highlight his bus ticket. Uh, you have hot. Yeah, I have hot. I don't think hard. We saw hard yesterday, last week with Gams. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna go with it's. Uh, I think it's a sharp day today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can be sharp. sharp. I can be pointy. <laughs> All right, and I've yeah. got 
Kim is my highest, so mm. lay it on me. Be weird. Let's be weird. I, I will be weird. Thing is, I've gotten enough advances that I'm like, I don't really want anything else, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna roll what I want to roll. <laughs> I mean, that's that's how I've been doing it the whole time. Pretty much, right? Mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. Sorry, I was half listening. I'm doing prep while we talk. Uh, what? Weird got highlighted for me. So. Okay. Well, you already have enough incentive to be hard. I don't think you need any more right, right. now. Um, so I'm going to go with hot. Ooh. All right. Nice. That works. How do we want to deal with Harrow? Um, well, before we do that, because I think we'll, we might open... Oh. Harrow. Um, well, you can't have... Because... Which, let's explain to the viewers. Viewers, new character. Um, Zen, you're the one playing a second character, right? Yep, yep. Harrow? Harrow the okay. Gunlugger. Harrow the Gunlugger. Refugee um, from and you, the dockyard. Yes. Who? Uh, do, do, how much do you want to say about it? I mean, I think that's enough for now. We'll get into it. Okay. <laughs> Just give me a sec. Um, then, well, let's do lifestyle. Because that's a thing. That is a thing. Uh, all right. I just promised to pay everybody's lifestyle, so tell me how much you need to pay. Uh, one for Aster. There's no water on the rig? There is... Know, is, that, is that still a thing? Um, not as easily and freely. Uh, let me think. Water, there's no food, uh, but I think there's actually plenty of water because there's no water being used to water the plants, so there's actually more water than before. Okay, so I don't need to pay anything. Then. Okay. Yeah. Yay. And uh, would Whisk have gotten anything from acquiring Gams' old place? Um... Oh yeah, we never we never talked yet about you like we yeah. probably would have gotten some barter. You would still have to pay yeah. lifestyle, I think. Um yeah, so that's this true. Isn't running her food store? Well, oh, food is like a short supply. Yeah, yeah, food hard, itself is a bit hard to sell food that don't exist. Yep. Yeah. Uh yeah, Gavin didn't manage to take any of this stuff with him. Did I already give you some barter for something? Uh, back. We talked about uh, broth getting a oh. stack of stuff, but we never actually like. Put yeah, and I, I, the last barter thing was for the guns, um, which mm -hmm. was a big deal. I think this is another big deal. Mm -hmm. um, bunch of people, bunch of stuff. This isn't just a, a small gig. Yeah, I'm gonna go with four barter as well. It says to do it rarely, but I think both of these are. Extreme examples. Yeah, they literally they are looting the mansion of the richest man. So, yeah, flow, flow Okay, yeah. Well, then I'll go ahead and pay for myself. Then. Cool. Yeah. And then that is all done. Um. Okay. Then the last thing that I need, um. There we go. I think I'm ready to go. My some last time I prepped it took like twenty minutes and this time I've been prepping for like well an hour and fifteen minutes. Well I don't know why, because it feels like the same amount of prep either way. 
Um, so I'm not quite uh, sure, honestly. Did you make a bunch well, do we of want more to... NPCs? I'm not actually making that many more NPCs. Oh, okay. Um, I'm just, yeah. I, I, but I do have a lot of things that. Basically, this is the calm before the storm, so I'm prepping the storm. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Now, yeah, let's figure out stuff with Harrow. So, do we think yeah. Harrow, you are, um, Sam, do you want to just say what has happened to Harrow since? Because I have had very, like, the idea I uh, had well, was, um, Dremer went after Harrow because he figured out that Harrow was one of your informants and wanted to get to, to Grigsby through it, but that's yeah. not a thing anymore. As far as he's aware, Grigsby's dead, and so that's true. Um, so, what has happened with Harrow since? Uh, I think when Dremer went into the dockyard, uh, he he still targeted Harrow a bit, and Harrow has spent most of the time evading Dremer and his uh, and his handmaidens. Okay, so he, and did you escape, or was he not captured to begin with? Was it specifically well, because of Harrow's alignment, or was it just there's a badass? I'm gonna go fuck him up. I think a little of both. Because right. Harrow's like the security okay. guy. At the yeah, place. and there may be rumors that, un unconfirmed yeah. rumors or something like that about his voice. Okay. Yeah, so I, I think that Harrow found out that Dremer was heading for the rig after uh, Whisk did her... Uh, her yeah, her invitation. Her radio, her, yeah, her, her radio address. And Harrow started booking it out toward the rig before the assembled group uh, headed like Dremer's people headed out, and he's going to try to get there before Dremer. Yeah. Because I don't think there's probably much left of the dockyard by this uh, point. That's, yeah. Now, just double-checking, Did um, was Harrow captured and then escaped, or just he heard Dremer was going for him, so he escaped first? I think he was probably trying, like, Harrow was probably trying to take Dremer out and... Oh, okay. overheard overheard some planning and was like, you know what? That that's if I can get ahead of these guys and and warn the people at the rig, maybe we have a chance of taking them out. Okay, because he hasn't heard anything from the rig since he talked to Grigsby last, so he has no no idea what's yeah. going on out there. Yeah, you know, you're right. Um, and uh, and yeah. I think, oh, as a heads up, I think with the the crowds of people outside the rig have dispersed, um, so the gates are, op are like, fairly open again. You're free to come and go. Not many people would want to come to a place with no food, so that's why. They, they, they probably let a bunch of people uh, out and are suddenly, well, not suddenly, some people are just leaving on their own to search for other things, uh, beginning to trickle out. Um... Do we, I think, yeah, maybe we see that first. We see, like, a man in, uh, in, like, snow garb, uh, to show up on his own. Um, I don't know if you have a vehicle. Would you have just walked? Um, I think, like, if we're doing, like, an establishing shot, I, I think we see the rig and we see Harrow, like, he's obviously rigged something up to put all his gear on. It looks like the, the hood from a snowmobile. That he ripped off and then lashed ropes to, and he's dragging it through the through the snow. Okay. There's probably like some bullet holes and stuff in the yeah. in the hood as so he's he, pulling it along. So he does have a vehicle, just only downhill. Well, he <laughs> left it. He left it behind when presumably the bullet in the in the engine block made the thing stop moving. So. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so yeah, we, we see, from your perspective, you show up at the rig, um, you, you are, uh, you pull up in front of it, you get this wide shot of the rig from outside, which, and with Betsy parked next to it, um, yeah, Harrow sees, like, three, like, green, planty wolves, like, just, I don't, like, unless you get too close and they might growl a bit, but otherwise they're just, like, staring at you. I think he takes like a very wide arc around that, <laughs> and, uh, and and just pulls up, pulls his 
gear yeah. and stuff up to the gate and just starts banging on probably a piece of sheet metal because yeah. it's loud. Try to get someone's attention. And as we do that, we see the shot behind you instead of in front of you. Um, and there's this just sort of like cloud of black smoke very slowly advancing uh, towards the the dock. So towards the rig from the dockyard. Um, yeah, and the gate is uh, like it, it's unlocked. Um, I think it, it's not always open because it's cold, but it opens for you. Um, and I think they, uh, yeah, you get let in, um, and a guard, a shepherd, of course, asks, uh, like, I think you, they're wielding, um, and now they're all wielding, like, assault rifles, I think, because that was what yep. the standard was. So, uh, yeah, a shepherd, um, holding an assault rifle questions you. What's your business here? And they're not, like, blocking your way or anything. There's like, to your side as you step in, step in and get out of the cold, and the gate closes behind you. Yeah, I think Harrow, like, looks at the, uh, the shepherd, and he's like, uh, I need to speak to them that's in charge. You got a big problem coming your way. I was gonna use that accent for Trevor! That exact one! Sorry. <laughs> Took it first. <laughs> Maybe, maybe they were like, it's a death song. Oh, that's awesome, but also, okay. Well, last hour of practicing an accent, I believe. I might <laughs> use it. Just use it. I, I probably it's will. Fine. Yeah, I mean, they're from around the same area. Accents are. Yeah, it's alright. I didn't hear what you said. Have the because... same accent. What? In a place where, in a small area, like everyone lives in the same area and doesn't travel. What? Um, okay, uh, I didn't actually it's hear the apocalypse. You I was distracted because I didn't hear what you said. Uh, because of your accent. What did oh, you say? Okay. Uh, he, he is saying he needs to speak to the, whoever's in charge. Right, well, uh, that, is it public knowledge? Um, I don't think it was public knowledge that Raider's gone. She kind of just left in the night. So, he says, All right, well, uh, that'd be Radar. And he gives you directions to Radar's place. Um, and it says, and obviously says, like, it's the one that has guards in front of it and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, he, he gives you directions, um, but doesn't expect to follow you. Um, Thank, thanks, Mike. See that uh, cloud I, back there, that big black cloud? Yeah, he wasn't going to ask what your business was, and now that you mentioned that, he, and I think he, uh, he's actually looking at the cloud while talking to you, like sort of half distracted. So, uh, uh, yeah. Do, Keep a wary eye on that. Keep a wary eye on that. You got trouble coming. Obviously. Now, you don't. You're not. One of Dremmer's guys? Like a messenger or something? No, no. I've got a message for Dremmer, but hopefully you can help me deliver it. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, yeah, good. Good, uh. Hopefully today goes well for all of us. No, nope, I'll see you in hell. And he slaps him on the back and <laughs> walks up the ramp. Yeah, I, I I don't think he knows what to do with that. Um, so he, he pretends you didn't. Uh, yeah. Uh, this morning, I'm assuming that, I'm assuming this is happening fairly early in the morning, um, so far. What, um, is anyone else doing anything specific? Any other characters doing the thing to prepare or anything like that? Um, Maybe. Uh, you found out he's not in the rig. Yeah. Sleeping in? Like, yeah, everything's fine. Of all days, today is the day to sleep in. I would. Um, Joyce. Sorry, not Joyce. Joyce is your nurse. Dog, meat, and sugar 
they're both hiding in the drug lab, right? With this with with guns. Cool. I thought so. I couldn't remember. In the drug lab with guns. It's a yep. party. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're waiting for Gams. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. let's let's address something. Goons. That's a little. It's a little over the top. They actually, I use goons. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I I use I use goons in my GM notes. That exact yeah. word. They're not goons. They're friends. Uh, they are contractors. Well, um, more like a family. So, um, well, let's let's see. so early, like, like very early in the morning. Do you do you have your own place by now, Kim, or do you sleep at like at the clinic? Okay. Okay. The infirmary stays open all the time, though, like with the, someone else on, or how does that work? Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would actually be a thing. Yeah, never mind. Uh, so you, the next morning, like you open, you go to open up the infirmary, um, and as soon as you open the supply cupboards, uh, it's obviously someone's been in here overnight while it was closed. Who me? No, it, someone that was not you <laughs> has been in the, has stolen uh, some of the medical supplies. Oh, I discovered um, this. Fact. You discover this when you open up, or if someone else opens up, then they would tell you. Okay. Um, so I don't think you. I think it. You would get my. They would like actually steal usable medical supplies. So I think you might need to reduce your, hmm. or not take your plus one at the beginning of each session supply, just because it negates that. And why did this happen? Specific. Because I said it, it stayed open. No, uh, it wasn't because of that. I was just figuring stuff out uh, as to like the, I know who stole. Okay. That and I know what's going on. I was trying to figure out if they would it's, um, break in or not. Side quest. Because they would lock it up with those. <laughs> yes, a, a, a person comes up to you and says, "Help! Help! Can you help?" And like sort of, starts jumping around and you know. So with, uh, so yeah, it's with, really weird. They have an exclamation point over their head. I don't. Uh -huh. know. Yeah, it's <laughs> some sort of yeah, it's a hat that apparently everyone in this rig likes to wear. Mm, like just dozens of people wearing this exclamation mark hat. So with like a dozen people. In the infirmary, stuff still got stolen. Well, I imagine you said it was closed. Um, I'm not saying Joyce was there. Um, I'm saying I'm saying like at some point when no one was there, because I assume there was a glimpse. I mean, I assume no the there. guards would have been there all night because they don't want Gam sneaking in and killing himself. Oh, that's okay. Unless you disagree that's with. Um. That is up to the whisk, and I also assumed they wouldn't be there when it was closed. Yeah, I might have left a couple people behind to uh, keep an eye out, because uh, we know that Games was bleeding, and like that's probably one of the only places you can get metal, medical supplies without trekking miles across the frozen wasteland, so... Mm -hmm. Then they would be able to tell you exactly what happened, because they were there. None of them are dead, but they tell you that uh, Sabella and Fifi both showed up in the middle of the night with keys, opened the door, because the, 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 the police master has keys to every room in this entire rig, um, opened the door and walked in, and... While the guards were there, they could, obviously didn't have the authority to just object to that. Sure. Um, and walked out with some metal, with like some of your stuff. That's fine. They don't know how to use it. Yeah. Well, bandages and stuff. They, they might is their bandages, but yeah. Okay. Um, so that's what happened. As you you, uh, you get told that by some of Whisk's employees, as you get there that morning. Sure. Um, I. Yeah. Uh, 
they didn't look around at all. They just walked in, grabbed the supplies, and left. So they didn't look for or notice um, sugar or dog right. meat. They didn't go in the but drug lab. They never went to the... Not at all. Okay. I think we see Kim packing up supplies himself. And, like, he has a duffel okay. bag all of full them? of... Not all of them. Enough to, like, transport. Um, okay. And you have, like, like a, a, the duffel bag's labeled retirement to safety bag? Right. And he's a <laughs> duffel bag full of barter, and that's also being locked up. And then he just, like, sits at his desk with his assault rifle there and waits for people to uh, come All in. right. I think, is Joyce there when you're doing this? Is she, like, helping you open? Probably not. Okay. Uh, when she starts, she walks in and sees you just sort of sitting there holding a gun idly. Obviously, this is, seems unusual even for you, Kim, and so she stops and says... And eyes, like, she stops is about to say something, notices the duffel bags, rethinks what she's about to say, and says... Hi. Good morning, Joy. Morning, Kim. What's all of this? Oh, the drummer's coming. He is, but just for him, he was invited. <laughs> you just, you just like laugh, yeah, in character that. It's Drummer. Have Drummer gets Drummer? what he wants. Have you met Drummer? Like, she said it sarcastically first, and now it's like, wait. I've heard enough. Huh. How does this work again? And she takes out, like, the gun that I believe you lent her yesterday. Sure. And... So I guess yeah, just, as, like, as this uh, empty filing cabinet, and we get her on one side, and Kim, like, starts showing her how to use the gun. Exactly. If you have an empty filing cabinet, you use it as, like, target practice. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah, she... she, begin, she I guess uh, learns a bit about how to shoot properly. Nice. You really are. She really is like your your in training person for both sides of the equation. Oh yeah. yeah. Both your uh, sharp and your hot, or hard, sharp and hard. Um. Yeah. I just see if any other questions. Um. Yes, actually. Uh, while. I think as you have finished, and as you are finishing up uh, practicing and teaching her the basics of firearms, um, she says, if, basically if everything explodes here, and everything goes to crap, what are you going to do? Go back to the wastes. Really? I've been here um, long enough through like civilization is not all it's made up to be. Yeah, I heard Oh well, no ways people don't just said. take your stuff and think that it belongs to them. It expects you to do nothing about it. True, they'll just kill you so that you don't do anything about it. Right. I think that's the better way. Okay. Sure. Let's go with that. Um. I don't think she asks any more questions. I think she leaves you to it after that. Sure. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, Whisk, are you, uh, or, and 
Aster, are either of you two doing anything this morning? I would probably be trying to look for uh, Radar, see if she stuck around. Um, you, okay. Um, I don't think a roll is needed. I think that uh, Radar is no longer in the rig as you, mm-hmm. you were looking for her. Um, yeah, and then I'd be talking with like the other shepherds, like talking out what we're going to do and yeah. stuff. Yeah, and they just said like they have she didn't come home. She like went out last night and didn't come back. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's all they know. Do you tell them? Are you like making it known like she's gone, gone? Yeah, I think I would break it to them that she ran away. All right. She's she's a coward and was never fit to lead. Oh yeah. Very, uh, very kind words. Soft. Bring it to them soft. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so I think, once again, you're probably mostly talking to Fifi and Sibel, or her mm-hmm. two second in commands, second and third, whatever the order that is. Um, yeah, so I think... Uh, Fifi goes like, what? And Sibel just, like, Face palms. Oh, I knew she was scared of Dremor, but everybody is. And I don't see any of us running. Why? Okay. I'm not going to ask why you invited him here, because it doesn't matter. But what's the plan? Because I, I need, have a reason. I need one of you to step up and meet Dremor alone. Take Radar's place. What do you want me to do? I don't think there's even a question of it. Uh, Sibel is the one speaking. Uh, just when the time comes, maybe at the wood stove alone, you can come armed, I guess. But don't don't bring any guards. I'll have security covered. All right. Hopefully. What will we be discussing? We will be negotiating peace. I'm a soldier, not a... We will be negotiating peace with a knife and drummer's back. Hmm. That's good, I suppose. Or a bullet in his head, or a gash in his neck, or drawn and quartered. It doesn't matter. We'll figure it out. I see. So it's not really about me, or it's you and Jenna, basically. Yeah, but I need an official leader to step forward and make, you know, have a meeting so I can be a third party. She just narrows her eyes at you. Says... I, you would either make the best in the, you would, you would make an effective leader of this rig. But I don't know if that's a good thing. Well, let's see how you think about that at the end of the day and we'll talk. Yeah. Um, she's not one, she doesn't like say a lot of words, so I don't think that she, uh, says anything more. She, she just, like, says, yeah, implicitly implies that she'll be there. Um, do you talk to her or Fifi about anything else? Was she in the know about the whole drummer trading situation? I don't think you know that. Okay. Uh, well, I would bring it up. I say, were you in the know about the whole Dremor trading situation? <laughs> okay. Then, uh, she'd say, the, the what? Radar was trading arms with Dremor. It's the whole reason he didn't attack the rig sooner. I oh. made her stop. 
The problem is, is you remember Mimi, right? She was starting to catch on. And so Radar wouldn't stop unless she was sure that no one else would ever find out about it. So she made me get rid of Mimi. But... And she starts taking notes as you're writing this down now. Flow chart. <laughs> but, yeah. but I fake Mimi's death. She's okay, and now that Radar's gone, she can come back and yeah. we can feed the rig again. Listen, it'd all be better explained over like a dozen four-hour long talks. Yeah. yeah. This is one of those scenes where they start writing the entire thing on a chalkboard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like for those viewers no. just catch like just joining us, mm-hmm. here's everything yeah. just before the finale. Yeah, last time on Apocalypse World. Uh-huh. Yeah, so basically, I had to fake Mimi's death so Radar would cooperate, and I kind of plotted to get rid of Radar after today to uh, get Mimi back in the picture and get the rig back up and running. But Are she left anyway, so... Well, no. The only reason I needed to get rid of Radar was because she would, you know, have Mimi killed. Which we kind of need for the rig to run. So, I mean, if you're going to be sure. cool about it, Mimi can come back and... Yeah. Right, like, I'm not here to make enemies with you. Yeah. Radar being a coward was honestly best-case scenario. I mean, aside from Radar not stepping up in the first place. Um, are you? Yeah, I think you might be actually um, to just manipulating here. So okay, let's, let's see how it goes. You're being very straight, and you're being, you're not like. Yeah, I'm being very, frank as shit. You're not actually lying. You're just saying, here's everything. Now do this. Hmm. All right. Do you want to see Mimi? I can take you to her right now. Um. She thinks about... She thinks for a moment... And it says, sure. I don't like that face, but okay. <laughs> uh, Fifi comes along, and you, you just take them to Nimi. Yeah. Okay. That place is empty. If you arrive there, you open the door, uh, you, and no one is there. Um, I don't think... There, none of Mimi's stuff is there that she had with her. Mm-hmm. Um, she didn't like. It's not like there wasn't any sign that she was ever there to begin with, but any and all of her stuff is gone as well. Um, and so, like, you open the door and look around, and um, Sibel says, "All right." I don't see Mimi here. God damn This place it. has been empty since Grigsby got here. Like, since no, Grigsby got. this is... She must have run off. Hold on. And, uh... I'm going to find Broth. And I'm going to tell him to put the word out that I want someone to find Mimi. Okay. I have, uh, I have a move for that. Do you explain anything to Sibel? Because... Or is she with you? Yeah, I, I, I tell her that she was getting antsy being cooped up and she probably gathered up her stuff and ran. Okay. She's still like tentatively like, I'm not sure if you're messing with me because I don't really trust you right now. Type mm-hmm. of thing. Like, even like a lot of what you reveal to her in Yeah, but I think. I, yeah, yeah. I think she. Um, I think I make a point to have her like with me when I talk to Broth about getting everyone together yeah. and like, looking for Mimi. Like, t- okay, t- t- like ask around, find out, you know, if anyone saw her, and like getting a party out to go like track her down and everything. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that move. Let's do that move. 
So what's the move called? Oh, fingers, fingers in every in pie. pie. Put, okay. put out the word that you want a thing. Could be a person, could be something, something, could be even be just a thing. And roll hot on a 10 plus, it shows up in your establishment for you like magic. On the 7 to 9, well, your people make an effort and everybody wants to please you and close is close, right? On a miss, it shows up in your establishment for you with strings wicked attempts. But I got a 10 plus, so it's, it's good. Got a 12, you. yeah. Um, so it's not instant, uh, it's not obviously. Instant. Yeah. But she will show up. They they say, Ross is like, yeah, I'm on it. Mm -hmm. We'll find her. Yeah. And, uh, Probably find her frozen to death in the freezer or something. <laughs> no. Maybe. Yeah, so I'm just like, all right, it might take a couple days, but she'll show up. Which, honestly, it might be a little bit better if she shows up after, you know. We wouldn't want her getting hurt. True. Tomorrow would be ideal. <sighs> um. But she got, so I would say, you don't, okay, I need something else. That's not just the Mimi thing, because obviously... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I need... I... The Mimi thing wasn't a huge deal, honestly. I think what I'm honestly worried about with you, Whisk, if you're, I'm going to be as frank with you as you're with me, I'm worried someday I'm going to do something that you don't like, and you're just going to stab me in the back, too. I have very simple interests. And I think it's not difficult not to cross me. I just want what's best for the people in the rig. My people. What if they don't like what's best for them? Genuinely. The end of obviously hypothetically. Then they can leave without trying to pull the whole place down with them. Everyone's free to go. And everyone's free to stay. She needs a promise from that. Um, so I think I know exactly what she says. She says, if everyone's free to go, everyone's free to stay. Fifi has been, like, silently following her the, the whole time. Um, so she says, then I want to see, honestly, She turns to Fifi and says, I want you to go find Radar. I'd like to talk to her. Is that a problem, Liz? No. Okay. And I think Radar's a shepherd as well, so Fifi says, like, bring some backup. Just in case. Um, yeah. And I think, it, yeah, I think she, if she is free to have people come and go, um, I don't think she'd want to leave herself. So I think that would work. But her concrete assurance is her being able to, well, I guess, do leader stuff without you killing her. So, yeah. Um... Fifi nods, Fifi leaves and does that. Um, Sabal turns back to you. He says, So, wood stove, when Drimmer gets here? Yeah, we should probably set up a table or something. Mm. 
you don't That's worry about that. Idea. You relax, psych yourself up, get ready, all that stuff. I'll have everything prepared. Write a speech. <laughs> yeah, write a speech. Yeah, I uh, make my arrangements just in case. Um, oh, that's actually probably a thing. Uh, I think we, you're both like looking as you're talking, you're, you've been walking. I don't think you've been like sitting mm -hmm. in place. Um, that's how I imagine it, at least because you've been around town. Uh, both of you are on like a, one of the metal iron balconies looking down and you can see just a stream of people leaving the rig as Dremor gets closer. People are just like, nope. Um, a lot of the like, people who are starving and were kind of considering leaving anyways. Mm -hmm. there are, there's a crowd of them lined up at the gates um, and they're all, they're all leaving. Um, yeah. So. It's not everyone, um, but I think it's the, the rig after this will be back down to as normal like beginning of the entire game size. Mm-hmm. Which, without Mimi and the hydroponics, is still starting. But hey, hopefully that gets fixed pretty soon. Hopefully. I mean, I rolled a twelve. You did roll a twelve. Yeah, so that's good. Um. Yeah, that's. Uh, I think unless there's anything you want to say more, I think that's uh, the end of the conversation. Yeah, I think I think that's it. Yeah. Um. Let me check if that is a thing. I just wish Kim cared more about the rig. Oh. I might do something here. Well, I think um, as we see, like, I think we see the crowd of people leaving the rig, and we see one person like sort of cutting through them, uh, a single man. As everybody is is in like snow here, and yeah, just like is is cutting through them, the only person entering the rig. Hmm. Um, yeah, and then uh, that is that. So yeah, are you up to anything, Aster? Um, yeah, I think when we see Aster, he's in like I'm picturing like the the hydroponics deck has like. A, a small amount of space under the decking itself, like under the floor, like a little crawl space kind of area. And Aster's like set up a little spot for himself. There's like a crate with like an oil lamp and, and a shitty old bedroll. And it's just where he goes to like be out of the way as these living humans sleep. Sleep in the bedroll. <laughs> cool. And um, uh, where is but, it? it? It's uh, It's underneath the the hydroponics floor like there's there's a, oh, okay. a subspace down there like we so spillage yeah. and stuff goes to the appropriate place but i think he's yeah. sitting on his bedroll and he's got this um pot uh, uh, and it's got some small plants in it and he takes off his mat and like, like sets it sort of in the in the whatever passes for soil here with some Nutrient styrofoam stuff. Yeah, it's probably just a pile of yeah. It's whatever they use in the hydroponics, and they're just a pile of yeah. So he like holds his mask just above that, and like the the vines that uh, border on the masks are growing down into the into the soil, and they hold it there. Yeah. And he starts staring at the mask, and he's gonna try to uh, catch some. Supernatural visions about uh, about yeah. Dremor coming and then see what happens. So I'm gonna try to open well, the brain here. Before you do that, um, I just wanted to say uh, I think tonight you about Dremor about like the rig. Um, you've already been having strange dreams, so I think it might be half of both. Um, you, 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 yeah, sort Sweet. of like flashes of visiony dreams. Yeah, let's, let's roll that right. in the brain. Could be both of those. See what happens. That's partial nice. success. Okay. So, 
You know, it's been a while since we've opened the thing. Let's check what the move says. Uh, move the bottom, not the bottom. Okay. On a 7 to 9, the MC gives you an impression. If you already know all there is to know, the MC will tell you that. You don't. Um, okay. Yeah, so something um, new and interesting about the current situation in, a, in impression format. Um, yeah. So I think an impression format, um, you get the impression that it's not just something big is coming. Uh, Dremer, Dremer didn't come without a plan. He, he to, how do I put this? You have a feeling that Dremer, I think you see sort of a, a, like, flashy vision of him giving a speech, um, in front of, like, his war bands. We could call them something else, but they're basically war bands. Um, and he's like, he has a loud, charismatic sort of, he seems like a, a, a ma the alpha of just a rabid pack of dogs. Um, but then you get a close up to the vision of his eyes, and they are anything but mad. They are, they seem cunning and clever. Um, and he is not, he, he is not the leader of, he is not in a position he is without a lot of, uh, smarts. So he's not coming here without a plan. I'm, I'm picturing him talking in front of a flag that vaguely looks like it from it was from the Third Reich, but not quite. But <laughs> maybe. Uh, and yeah, that that's uh, the impression you get. Yeah, I think uh, we see all that play like on the inside of the mask as as Master staring at it, and yeah. I think then he just grabs his mask up, puts it on his face, and, and walks out knowing that he has to deal with this nonsense. Uh, probably going to find Whisk. Alright. Um, so, Harrow, uh, you sometime, sometime that morning, you get to the, uh, radar's place, um, and there is a shepherd guarding it. Um, but of course, they tell you that the radar is not here. Um, and I... I don't think they... Would they know? Yeah, I think that... Uh, as While you are there, they're like, they tell you radar is not here, they haven't seen her, um, you'll have to come back later. Another shepherd like runs up and like whispers in his ear, and he's like... Really? And the other guy, like, nods solemnly. All right. Turning back to you, Harrow. Um, so, Radar's not in charge anymore. Don't worry about that. Uh, go talk to Sibel. Yeah. Sorry for the runaround. Politics. Do you, and it, looking to his friend, uh, actually, he's like, wait, am I still, I don't think it matters if I'm guard. You know what? Follow me. And uh, leads you himself to Sibel. Um, we ain't gonna survive a day. And he just like. <laughs> <laughs> and I think uh, we see sort of uh, a like distant shot of that same conversation that Whisk um, and Sibel were having. And then this shepherd runs up and like uh, says like, uh, "Ma'am, Sibel, like, not sure what to call her." Uh, we have a visitor. And Whisker did it as well. Um, mm -hmm. So Sibel turn, like, turns and says, like, thanks, and both of them seem uncomfortable with, like, the sudden position that she's in. She says, thanks, uh, shoo. And... <laughs> shoo. <laughs> no, she actually does that. <laughs> um... And yeah, she she looks at you. Um, are you still in your like full snow gear? Have you taken off your? No, he he's stuff? in he's in like if you look at the uh, the bio and info thing, he's pretty much wearing that. It's like it's snow digital camo. Oh. It's all military gear. Oh, okay, perfect. Um, now, Whisk, do you know who Harrow is? Like, you two were both separate informants of Grisby. Yeah, I think. I probably wouldn't know Harrow's face, but I would know, like, yeah. of Harrow, and, like, given the name, I'd be like, oh, you. 
Cool. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you heard his up? voice on the radio? Uh, yeah, I would. I would recognize the voice, but radio it distorts it. It would be kind of hard to tell. You know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so. Yeah. So they'll like takes this a step towards you to the regular conversation range. Um, says, who are you? Did I send a messenger no. away? No, name's Arrow. Uh, I guess you're the one in charge today, at least. Um. <laughs> she laughs at that, actually, herself. And says, yeah, yeah, I uh, guess I am for now. Sidelong glance at Risk. Nope. Well, I hate to tell you this, but um, you got a massive fucking problem heading your way. Uh, um, maybe, maybe you're a messing, day ahead. You're, yeah, maybe a day ahead of Trevor. If you would, and she, she like, yeah, gestures to Whisk and says, "Whisk, you're the uh, one who invited both of us to this oh so generous meeting. Would you like to introduce yourself?" You called yourself Harrow. That's right. You're one of Grigsby's. I'm gonna reach out a hand. I, I think like the the name kind of you, you just see like a flash of emotion. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry to hear about him. And he like yeah. shakes your hand. Yeah, I say, uh, you know, like I introduce myself and say, uh, yeah, things things work out. Jimmer won't be a problem for anyone much longer. Glad to see you're confident. I'm not. Of course, I've been running from him for about a week now. Do you, and this is Isabel speaking. Do you think people have tried to kill Jimmer like this before? If they had, they died screaming. Drimmer's got a bit of a reputation. So do I. Another sidelong glance from the bell. <laughs> uh, she, she, like, trying to, like, very subtly to you, Hera, like, gives you a very subtle nod, like, listen to her. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, I, I reckon if, uh, you invited him here, you're gonna go, I don't know, talk and whip it out, and measure and see who's as bigger. I'd like to be along for the ride. At least then, maybe I'd have a clear shot at the bastard. Uh, what are you, what are you packing? Stuff, because I... Not see the massive machine mm -hmm. gun and shotgun oh. that he's... <laughs> yeah, Golden, did you... Did we lose anything? I just clicked on the wrong just... button. I don't know what you, oh. if anything, we lost. But only okay. for a second. Yeah, sure. yeah. Sorry. Cool. Okay. Basically, Harrow has guns. Okay, yeah, yeah. Being a gun lugger, uh -huh. it makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Um, um, actually, say... do we want to take this time to introduce your playbook and choices and stuff? Do you oh, sure. Yeah, it's we, a, can, we can yeah, do that. Good idea. So, Harrow... Um, kind of a medium build guy. He's pretty much always in that snow digital camo stuff. Um, he carries a uh, machine gun, uh, armor piercing ammo for all of his weaponry, uh, a shotgun, and his backup is many knives, an infinite number of knives. <laughs> he just always has another knife. Um, <laughs> And he wears two armor military type gear. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as moves, uh, he's got battle hardened, so he's rolling with hard. Uh, not to be fucked with, so he is a small gang. And hard plus one from Insano like Drano. Uh, nice. Pretty basic gun lugger. Just, just there to blow shit up. Yeah, gun oh, lugger bread and butter. Nice. Awesome. Uh, okay. Do, do we want to highlight his stats somehow? Do you just want to call two that, out since he has no hex? That's a good idea. Yeah. Well, um... We've got to do the questions, right? Have a good hex. 
Uh, not not for introducing characters, that's for the starting off characters, but oh. I think the question simply are, did you know them? If so, you have Hex plus one. If not, you have Hex zero, I think, to start with. Mm-hmm. Um, Works for me. So, did you know them beforehand? That's up so, to everyone. Uh, Whisk, probably, yeah. Yeah, Whisk, so, yes. Um, so it's very unlikely did to kid him. pass through the dockyard and know the security dude? The dockyard is to the west, oh, right? And you can't have Hex with you, so... I believe so, yes. The Duck Air is to the west, right? Yeah, uh, and it's the closest uh, closest settlement. Yeah, I don't so. think Kim's ever been that far west. Okay. So, so one and zero. So that would mean I have the highest with Whisk. If you want to give me a highlight. Uh, I'm going to say hard. I wonder Shocking. why that would be. Shocking. Weird, huh? Shocking indeed. Um, we barely he's, not, cool. he's not very weird. He's definitely not hot. He's a little cool. Yeah. He's pretty sharp, though. But I mean, so. he barely roll cool now that you have that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think you are actually going to do a bit of con- your hot. Because I think in the situation that this calls for, you will actually be doing some convincing. Uh-huh. So, if you ever want to try it, you'll get some... Good old minus two, yeah. Mm-hmm. If I, if no, I, I ever want to make it. things worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Highest and lowest stats. Experience. You got yeah, whisk to us for you. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just go help. We'll just fix the position help. where I'm doing all the talking and you're helping. Right? Yeah. And I think other like other characters, you can mark Hex with Harrow as well. That isn't um, at like Zen. Your characters can't have Hex with each other, but you like Whisk and Kim can both mark Hex. Mm-hmm. Uh, zero for Kim, and then plus one for yeah. Whisk with. So uh, my my characters will not be helping each other, is what you're saying. They, I don't believe they can help each other either. Okay. Um, I'll double check. I had, that, I, no, I had planned I, on I trying it, to keep well, them they can't on have separate scenes other. anyway, so so I don't have to talk yeah. to myself. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they can't have <laughs> each other, so they can't talk to each other. Or okay. Yeah. okay. Um. So I think you you will show your. Camera freeze. Yeah, yeah, for me too. Okay. Um. Well, let's give him a bit, but it's time to take a break, anyhow. Okay. Cool. I'll just give him a couple seconds. Do do do. Do do. All right, that's long enough. Let's take a break. I will be right. back in about five minutes, guys. <laughs> 